Hello, good morning, welcome to today's video. I have to turn my mouse and my keyboard off <laughs> every time I leave my computer now because Emmy is obsessed with playing with the keyboard. So I'm like, cool, do whatever you want. But also like, I don't want you messing up any of my videos that I have editing on here. I worked out this morning, like you saw, I took the alpha conditioning class. Logan, stop. I took the alpha conditioning class. It was very different today compared to what it normally looks like. Like it was a lot more strength based, which I honestly enjoyed. I've been really, I've been doing a lot more of my own workouts recently just because the further I get in, the more I have to modify. And I've been enjoying doing like early, early workouts. So getting to the gym by like 5.30, 5.45. So then I can come home and like, you know, I get home basically right as Emmy's getting up we can kind of start our day together. So I've been enjoying that. Um, anyway, class was good. I slept awful last night because <laughs> Chris always comes up to bed after me. I'm a light sleeper, even with the sound machine on. Like eight times out of 10, I normally still wake up. So he came up at like one something. Took me a little bit to fall back asleep. Logan, who is the one causing problems back there. If you've followed for a while, I've talked about this before. He will wake up in the middle of the night or just like very early in the morning and he is meowing, scratching at the mirror. Usually it means they're out of food or out of water. Chris is in charge of their food right now because it's down by the litter pans and the water is in our bathroom. I knew I'd filled that up so that was totally fine and I'm pretty sure Chris had just filled up their food. I don't know but he was just scratching at the mirror and then meh meh. So although I didn't take a class until seven, which meant I was like leaving at like 6.40. I have been up since like 4.30. I should have just gone to the gym. Honestly, that probably would have been a better use of my time. It was nice to still at least lay in bed and like try to get some sleep, but I'm still tired. So I probably should have just gotten up. Anyway, that was my morning. Came home, made that English muffin. Those are so good. My mom gets them from I don't know if it's a bakery. I, I assume it is. I don't know. In Cincinnati, whenever she's there, she'll go to this farmer's market. I don't even know what the company's called, but they have the best English muffins. They're so good. So she brought back a dozen for us. Um, I think something like that. Had that with eggs. I just got done recording and editing a giveaway for the travelers. These restock tomorrow or Saturday. They're doing a pre-order launch again for all of them. So the four newer colors, well, no, I guess these are, they did the navy in, they did navy and pink after this launch. Anyway, they're restocking all of them. So I'm doing a giveaway where I'm gonna pick three winners to win whatever hydro jug they want and our hydro jug traveler. I'm already so out of breath, oh my gosh. 
So I just recorded that and edited it. Edited. This is what it looks like. Super creative. Um, that's what I came up with. They told us about it yesterday, so it was a little bit last minute. And I like kind of put myself together. I got the Wondermost items that I, or I got some of the Wondermost items that I ordered. If you haven't seen, Lululemon came out with a whole like bodysuit basics line. It's called Wondermost and it is very, very, very soft Nulu material. On the website, I thought it was going to be more compressive. So I actually held off ordering it for a little bit just because obviously like shapewear is not um, in the cards for me right now. Don't really need that with the bump but it's definitely not compressive. Like it's more just like really good basic items. So this is the bodysuit. I would prefer this <laughs> with wide leg pants, not these joggers, but I just kind of threw them on because that's what was in my closet. This particular one is a bodysuit, it's square neck, and I love it. I think they have it in like, oh gosh, all the basic colors. Um, and then I also got the long sleeve that's not a bodysuit, like just a plain long sleeve that has a, um, comes up higher on the neck. I still have to try that on. I got that in espresso or whatever the brown color is they offer it in. So comfy. I got size mediums. Um, I will include these in the next Lululemon haul, but I'm very impressed. And I'm excited that I can actually wear them. And I have more full length items now. Go me. Um, but I am going to make sure I have everything ready to go for tomorrow. Tomorrow is my, um, the last eight week challenge launch. And then I was up, not late last night, but I was building boxes for the new Worth It product. We have, I believe, the timeline set in stone. We are just waiting for the product to get trucked from where it is now to the warehouse. Um, it got delivered on the train, which was like phenomenal. We were waiting on that and then we got confirmation when it was delivered. That was very exciting yesterday. So it looks like everything is going to work out to where we can have launch on November 11th. So a week from Saturday, which means all next week is going to be fun announcement videos. And I'm so excited. Chris and I sat down and tried to come up with that whole plan. Last night I, yeah, put crinkle paper in all the affiliate boxes or with the amount of crinkle paper we had, we still have to get more, but I think we have like 250 boxes. We have close to 200 made and I think like 110 of them I was able to fill with the crinkle paper. So we need to get more of that. I need to finish that or that's something our nanny can help us with while Emmy's napping. She's been taking such good naps which is phenomenal. She's also had very active days <laughs> when she's with the nanny and with us because obviously the nanny's sole focus is her. We normally have to work in the house in the morning, so she takes her out. And then the days the nanny's not here, our sole focus is on her because we already got our work done. So we get out of the house, we do a bunch with her. So she is thriving, which is the main reason I wanted to have a nanny because obviously I have no issue working in front of her but I don't want to be on my phone in front of her and like, you know, not having intentional time with her, if that makes sense. Anyway, gosh, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, make sure everything is good for the program tomorrow. I have to call um, the guy who helps me with my website. <sighs> Coordinate with him. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah, we are gonna go try to get a new Christmas tree. Uh, Chris said he saw one at Costco yesterday. Yep. Did you see like a bunch in stock? I guess we're gonna go find out. Um, but I asked on Instagram and people said Costco, Home Depot, and Balsam Hills. This seems like the less expensive or the least expensive one, but that lasts really long. <sighs> Thank goodness uh, Chris came because I forgot to take the stroller out. 
not that that really would have made a difference. I couldn't have fit both boxes in here, especially with the car seat, but it's two big boxes. So we put one in here and we even had to take the car seat out of his car, put it in my car and he has the second box in there. So we got the tree. It was not, I wasn't, I don't want a cheap tree. I'm hoping this one will last a long time, but he said it was $500, which I'm like for a 12 foot tree, that's like an amazing deal. He was looking at the 10 foot price. <laughs> so it was like $800, whatever. Everyone has said that these last a long time. So we'll see. And Costco has a great return policy. So hopefully if something were to happen, we could return it. Go Christmas. You like the tree? Where'd they go? There it is. There it is. Mata. You wanna go turn the lights on? Mata. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Look at the tree. Yeah, 
and Logan. Okay. Hi. And the lights. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. I was not motivated at all to lift so we got to the gym as a family and there was a class that started at 9 30 so I took the class and launch is at noon so a little less than an hour um, we're gonna go home he's gonna hang out with them get her ready for a nap um, yeah have lunch and then I think I'm gonna do some more decorating while she's napping seems to be going seamlessly so and Emmy is napping so I figured I would show you what I got at home goods because I was gonna show you when I got home but Emmy was awake and then it was just a you know whole thing and my camera died in my car but I wasn't planning on <laughs> really decorating her room whatsoever definitely wasn't planning on getting anything while I was there for her room but first things first I found these pillows I think they'll work in here really cute. Um, if not, they'll go in a guest bedroom. I'm hoping I can find a place for them because like they're so cute and comfortable. <laughs> and obviously checkered is like super popular right now. It almost has like that fuzzy blanket feel. You know like those really popular blankets right now? Got those. And then for Emmy's room, they had this whole section of like champagne and pink. She is obsessed with llamas and she loves her llama llama book. So I got the little llama. That's the one I saw first. And then I saw this little bear. Look at the pink. So stinking cute. So these can just go on her shelves. Um, and then I found these little trees. So like these two match the wood base. And then this one obviously is ombre, but I thought that was so cute. And then, oh, these ones I think are my favorite. So I'm going to definitely find spots for these ones first. These two are like weighted, so it just sits on the shelf and like their feet hang off. This one and this one. They had a bunch of these ones. 
So I'm gonna try to make these work first because I think these will fit the space the best. And then hopefully I can have room for this one. If not, I'll take the other two back. But I feel like these are for sure just gonna be so cute in her room. And then I found these trees. These can, I doubt these will go in her room. If there's space for them, I can put them in there. But I thought these would be cute for the bathroom. There's an all wood one, all white one, and then this one. So, cute little matching set. And then, oh, I got for her bathroom, I got a Tis the Season bath mat. And then some hand towels, because we needed some more hand towels for like, downstairs, her bathroom, all of the guest bath guest bathrooms essentially. And then I'm so excited. They had this in two sizes, but we needed a basket for our room to keep the extra blankets in for me to put pillows and stuff in. So this one's pretty big and I love, look at how fun. It's like the knitted ivory rope. So that's gonna go in the corner to put blankets in because we just always have blankets sitting on the floor. <sighs> yeah, that's everything I got at Home Goods. These things I just think are gonna be so cute in her room. These, and then with the little trees. That's adorable, adorable. so many times but this pregnancy has been flying by which has been good but i am just so freaking tired every single day it's like the amount of effort it takes for me to muster up the energy to get work done keep the house clean keep up with laundry like just like little tasks i'm still getting them done so that's a win but it's much 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 harder this time around so coffee it is Chris got this like boxed cold brew. I feel like we're running out. Should've been good. And I forgot to put ice in the cup. Oh well, it's a little late now. <laughs> Oops. Um, I ordered groceries, so those should be here soon. Emmy is still napping. I don't know what the plan is for the rest of the day. It's beautiful outside, but it's windy. I was originally thinking the zoo could be fun. I guess it'll depend when Emmy gets up. Actually, no, I think they close at like four. So that's not an option. <sighs> I don't know. That is gonna be it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I had a little bit of a rough day yesterday. My mom was watching Emmy because it was Saturday. That's what she normally does. And we got most of our Christmas put up. My plan was originally to record it all like I normally do. Um, I was just struggling. And we had to like break it up a bunch because my mom dropped off her ladder. We got that new tree and it seemed so big. We realized that our old tree was actually 10 foot. The 12 foot fits, so it's all good. <laughs> but that's why it seems so big is because it's two feet bigger, um, but it's really nice. I would highly recommend the Costco ones if you're in the market for a new Christmas tree. It has like five different settings, like the white and then it like blinks and then you can also dim the lights, which is really nice. Um, so we're loving that so far. I got it all decorated. I'll show you everything in the next video because I think it looks really pretty. It looks very similar to how it has in the past, but um, Chris has been helping watch her this morning so I could get this video edited. 
My plan was to stay up late last night to get it all finished, but I just felt like crap. So I went to bed. <laughs> we need to start getting ready for the day. Anyway, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I put a little comment on the video, but if you want to enter to win the Cranberry Traveler mug, comment down below and I'll choose a winner within the next few days. I'll reply to your comment um, if you are the winner. Yeah, the new challenge is live, obviously. So if you want to participate in an eight week challenge to end the year on a good note, that starts tomorrow. The workouts kick off tomorrow. Um, there's the 30 minute program, which only has four workout four workouts a week. And then Fit and Functional has five to six workouts. Um, there's an optional circuit every Saturday. If you want to do that, you can. But other than that, it's um, five workouts, like more bodybuilding style, the way they've been, the way my workouts normally look. Um, so that's live. The last challenge ends today. So I need to pick winners for that. And then I'm hoping I can relax a little bit because my body is just feeling it, this pregnancy. But that's okay because I'm growing a whole human being. So it's to be expected, but thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, also, as I mentioned, next week is gonna be very exciting because we've got lots of announcements coming from a worth it standpoint. So keep an eye on the Instagram. Hello. Keep an eye on worth it's Instagram. <laughs> it's going to be a very fun week. Flavor announcements, product announcements, and the launch.